Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to upgrade your boot drive by cloning your existing one. So that way you don't have to go through the whole process of loading Windows again and all the apps that are on there. We're just going to take what's on the existing drive, clone it to the new drive, and we're gonna be doing this directly on the motherboard because I have multiple M.2 drives to do this with. Now, ideally, if you're doing this, you wanna be using a better SSD or M.2 drive than your existing one. So this is, I'm going from like one of the Western Digital Blues to a Samsung 990 Pro and I'm going from one terabyte to two terabytes. So one of the best reasons why you wanna use the better drive as your boot drive is because the main M.2 drive is going to have direct PCI lanes going to your CPU, whereas the rest of these possibly will be going through the chipset and then to the CPU. So having your best M.2 drive connected to your CPU is going to just give you better performance overall. So where I have multiple, I, can, I have space to use. So I am going to be putting my new boot drive that I'm going to be cloning to right here. And also before doing this, make sure your PC is turned off and the power is turned off. Installed. So now I'm just going to have to boot it up. So when installing a new drive, chances are you're going to have to initialize it. As you can see over here, I, as you saw on my computer, I had three NVMe drives. I only have two showing up because I need to initialize the new one. So we're going to go over here, whereas type in disk and we're going to go create and format right disk partition. So we're going to initialize the disk and that was showing up here. Now you see I have disk zero, disk one, and disk two. The disk genius is supposed to be free, so we're going to start with trying this. So, click on the free download. We're just going to follow the instructions. So we're going to go to tools. And we're going to clone the disk. So we're going to cloning here, which is my boot disk. And the right target disk is going to be the 990 Pro. So instead of partitioning it, we're just going to put everything to one partition. And we'll see how this goes. Start. Not too scared about anything happening because it is a fresh disk. Anything happens, I can just redo it. And now it says I'm going to restart. So, all right, we're just going to let this run and see how it goes. So I came back about 10 minutes later and we're back into the Windows lock screen. So assumed it was done. I went in. There was no indication that it was still copying the boot drive over. So now we're going to turn the PC off and switch the boot drive for the Samsung 990 Pro. So make sure again, power's off. We're going to take this out. Take the Western Digital out. That was hard to do one-handed, so I uh, put the phone down, swapped it out, and there we go. And now let's turn it on and see if we boot in. And as you can see, now that I did all that, my new C drive is my two terabyte 990 Pro, right there. And I did install the one terabyte uh, Western Digital because I'm going to reformat that and use it as a storage disk. So this process was a little time consuming, but it's definitely worth it over just, you know, having to uh, actually reinstall everything and start from scratch. 
this was much quicker. 